Hey everybody. So some of you may have seen my post yesterday on Facebook in regards to some mask stuff and military. So I had to felt I had to do this video, blog, blog, whatever the heck you call these things these days um, to talk about that and my frustration with it. Um, so the wife and I were going to Giant. I don't wear a mask. I haven't worn a mask since probably May-ish of last year. Um, and weren't wearing a mask, walking through and I had a customer, an older lady, she saw me without the mask and as I was walking past, she had to make a comment saying, you're supposed to be wearing a mask. And I looked at her and I said, no ma'am, it's not a law. I can wear no mask. And I continued while she was talking to an employee, probably complaining. I grabbed my case of water and as I was walking by, I let her know, ma'am, I fought for the freedom to not wear a mask. And her response immediately was, oh, you're one of those. And I said, yes, I am one of those that sacrificed their life for you. And you're welcome. And I walked, kept walking. I, it took every, <laughs> it took every ounce of me to stay semi calm in that situation because it when you're disrespecting military myself uh, or anybody that has served in any sort of military police uh, firefighters anybody that's putting their life on the line you disrespect that you're rubbing you're rubbing me and millions others the wrong way um so, to say the least, I was very frustrated that apparently military is categorized as one of those uh, to this woman. And it's super disappointing that we are at where we are with these masks. All right. I get it. If you want to wear a mask because it makes you feel safer when you're out go ahead wear it a lot of these people I, that are wearing masks I don't think I don't think they want to be wearing masks and that's partly why I'm doing this video I, we need to stand up for our rights our freedoms and stand together and if you're wearing it just to not deal with a confrontation you need to take a stand and take the mask off uh, it's it just we're gonna be we're almost at a year now with this crap and those are these these people that are hardcore maskers they're basing it off of science okay well if that's the case then why aren't they believing the science the statistics that the CDC is putting out in regards to the survival rate of this virus why aren't they believing those the 99 point something depending on age groups percent percent survival for this virus I'll take those odds any day I've been saying that to hundreds of people I'll take those odds any day we need to stand up take the masks off if and just we got to stand together I'm sick of this uh, uh, this last four actually eight years of the division in this country is out of control and now we're using this virus as another de device it's it's so frustrating I can't even come up with the words because I am just so disappointed that if you're a different race if your beliefs and faith are different than mine you vote differently than I do you want to wear a mask and I don't want to wear a mask that we have to hate one another that is bull crap that is garbage all right I don't we can have differences of opinion and it doesn't mean I have to hate you you have to hate me it doesn't it shouldn't be that way Obama started that div division 
eight years ago. And we can, whatever, you can disagree or whatever, but that's when the true division started in this country. And since then, it has just grown to the point where we're teaching our kids to hate one another. And it's just, it's enough is enough. We, we need to stand together regardless how we vote, regardless of our beliefs in the masks or not. If you don't want to wear a mask or, and you're just wearing it, I urge you, don't wear it, all right? It's not a law, a business. You can go in there. People will look at you funny, whatever, okay? But I will tell you, multiple times, I have seen people look at me without my mask, and I've seen them take their mask off because I had no mask. So I was empowering them to take their mask off. If we have enough people say enough is enough, take their masks off, and stand firm, we wouldn't be where we are. 100%. Masks would not be this big thing if enough people said, screw this, I want to live my life, and I'm not going to wear it, you know, because somebody thinks that it's going to protect. It's going to sound sad, or it's going to sound bad, but... It is not, unfortunately, it's not my duty to make sure you feel safe when you go out. That's, that's not my, I got to worry about me. I got to worry about my family and that's in in my friends and my, you know, my circle or whatever you want to call it. It is not my duty to make sure you feel safe when you go out in public. it sounds cold, but it's, it is. I mean, that's just how it works. I'm sorry. I want to live free. And I'm tired of our freedoms, small or whatever they may, may be, getting pulled slowly from us as Americans. We need to stand up. I keep saying that, but we need to. Heck, if you need somebody to walk with you when you go to Target, you go to wherever, whatever grocery store you shop at, if you need somebody to go with you to help empower you to not wear your mask because you're sick of it, let me know. I've told a few people, I'll walk with them. I'll go to the store with them. Uh, You know, if it helps them get the courage to not do so because they're worried about some older lady disrespecting the military coming up and making her comments. If they're worried about those people, I will walk with them without a mask, free, as they shop. I I will do it. And if you're a non-masker, I urge you to do the same thing. I urge you to help empower people. All right? I know people, regardless of political affiliation are probably getting sick and tired of this mask, but they wear it because they don't want to deal with the confrontation. I'm telling you, people don't, typically people don't say anything. I've had a couple of incidents where I think it was twice I had an employee say something to me and I asked them, I, you know, I said, Hey, it's not a law. You can't force me to wear it. And then I, if they keep urging it, I say, Hey, are you refusing me service because I'm not wearing a mask? When I ask that question, if they say yes, then I will walk out and not shop there again. But those times, those two times that that incident has happened and it's gotten to that point, they said no. And I just kept shopping without my mask. And that was it. I've had one customer, I think this lady was the first that I've actually had a customer make a comment negatively. Usually it's customers, like I said, usually it's other customers I see, they take their mask off. They see I have one off and they're like, they feel like, hey, you know, I want to stand free and make the choice to not wear the mask. I could, I could even say my choice, my body, my choice. You know, these are the, the pro, uh, death, you know, people that are saying, oh my gosh, oh, I'm going to kill a baby, you know, up until they're right before they're born or even after in some cases 
well, okay, my, my body, my choice. I don't want to wear a mask. I don't wear a mask. We need to stand up to this crap. Enough is enough. We're wor- coming up on a year. Let's stop this garbage. I've been going to businesses that don't make a big deal about masks. We need to all do this. Or we're just going to, it's going to be 2024, 2025, and we're going to still be wearing our stupid masks, listening to Fauci and his crap that he feeds us back and forth. Masks work, masks don't work, double, triple masks, all this garbage they're feeding us. It's your life. Make your own decision. Don't let this government crap, these politicians that are lifelong, don't let them decide for you. You need to stand up and make the decisions for you and your family on your own. Case, in, I mean, that's all you got to do. Stand up, please. And we need to stand together. Stop hating one another. If they want to wear a mask, let them wear a mask. If I don't want to wear a mask or somebody else doesn't want don't make a big deal about it. That's their choice. That's my choice that I made. Please, at one other note, and I, I have done this for years, and I and anybody that knows me knows this. When I'm out in public, if I urge you, if you see a veteran, you see those older gentlemen, typically it's older guys, if you see them with a veteran hat on, for whatever war, Korean War, Vietnam, whatever, please go up to them, take that extra 10 seconds, go to them, and thank them for their service. I do it all the time. Anybody that knows me, I will walk, if I see a vet, a vet like, you know, 100 yards from me, if I see him wearing that hat or whatever, I go up to him, I make a point to go to him or her and thank them for their service. I urge you to do the same. I, it's been pretty cool. I, I've met some neat uh, older veterans doing that. I even thank the spouses because the spouses are making it. They had made the same sacrifice. Uh, it's not just the veteran. It's their spouse as well. So please, I urge you, stand up. Thank a vet. All right. They made the ultimate sacrifice for you and I to be able to stand and and be free. This is America. This ain't no China yet. Let's stand together.